Hi and welcome to a new build episode on my second Funk Up build. Today I'm going to talk about elevator and rudder modifications. If you didn't saw already the first and second part of my Funk Up build, you can find the links above in this video. First let's have a look at the elevator. The most important uh, modification I did is to add this surface for the elevator to have more efficient elevator in comparison to the original rudder which is only this shape here. The reason why I choose this position for the additional surface for my elevator there are two reasons. One is that it is pretty strong like this. You have two hinges on the outside and one hinge centered and the uh, additional surfaces between all these hinges. The first fan cup was built with additional surface at the outer edge of the elevator. This is less strong. And the second reason is if you fly deep maneuvers through grass or something, through high grass, the grass can stuck between the elevator, the moving part of the elevator and the elevator itself. In extreme cases this can tear off the edge of your elevator. So this is really experimental, I have no idea how good it will work, how it will feel in the air, but I'm really excited and we'll see how it works. What I did for this modification is just to cut out the piece of foam which you can see here of the uh, fixed part of the elevator and make it fit to the uh, moving part of the elevator and I also added some carbon, two carbon rods on each side it looks the same on both sides for sure and uh, to strengthen the additional surface that it's not possible to bend it if you fly high speed or maximum speed for front cup that's not really extremely high speed but there is some force on this part here if it goes extremely down or up so these two additional carbon rods help to keep the surface in position then let's have a look at the lower side of the elevator I added some carbon pieces just to make the whole elevator stiffer one straight through the elevator and two in an angle just out to the edges. Also at the moving part of the elevator another piece of carbon through the thin area of the elevator just to avoid too much softness around the center of the elevator. Then we have the rudder horn which is also made out of one millimeter carbon like all the other carbon parts I use or I have built for this uh, fun cup build. This is also glued directly into the elevator which makes the mount much stronger than the original one which is just glued on the surface of the elevator and that can tear off if you pull strong on the elevator horn. To reach maximum angle of the elevator I installed five real hinges instead of the foam which is just between the moving part and the fixed part of the elevator and like this it's possible to reach angles of around 55 to 60 degrees up and down which I hopefully can reach easy 3D maneuvers, extreme maneuvers like it's not possible or it's way harder to do if you have the stock elevator. The last modification on the elevator is that I had to cut off some foam on the inner side of the elevator just to make it possible to also get nice angles with the rudder. So I had to cut out on both sides some foam on the inner side. Then let's have a closer look at the modifications on the rudder. If we start on the lower side, as you can see I don't use the original tail wheel. The reason is that on my first fan cup the rod, the steel rod of the rear wheel broke pretty easy and it also bent very easy. So I decided just to use the original hinge on the lower side but uh, go for another solution for a wheel or in this case it's not really a wheel it's just a carbon plate one millimeter carbon plate 
I just cut it out to make it fit inside the rudder on the lower side and this is a pretty rigged solution they won't break anything at all and this also helps the carbon goes into the foam and this also helps to make this weakest part of the rudder more stiff and more strong in case of crashes onto the rudder. For the rudder horn there was no modification needed, this is just the rudder horn out of the kit. What I had to do is to make the hole for the elevator way bigger than its original just because of the huge angles I can reach with the rudder and with the elevator. The last modification on the rudder are the hinges I used. This is also the same reason as on the elevator, just wanted to reach maximum angle. And you can see I also can reach angles around 55, almost 60 degrees on both sides. And like this I have perfect range of rudder and elevator for aerobatics and 3D maneuvers. So this is already all about today's build episode. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and as always, happy flying. Bye bye.